Welcome back to another episode of our new Destiny character. In the last episode, we ran some strikes and completed our first raid on the new character, Wrath of the Machine. Thanks to the loot we got from that raid, we ended day 10 as a 377 light level growing ever closer to that max of 400. In today's episode, we make even more progress to reaching that goal and finish with a visit to Xur, so I hope you go on to enjoy this episode. And if you do enjoy the video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one, and be sure to follow me over on Twitch, where we stream our progress on the new character often. But without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. Day 11 began with strikes, and most importantly, the nightfall. If you first complete a nightfall, then it gives you increased XP gains across all your activities for the remainder of the week. This week's Nightfall was Tanix Perfected, one of my personal favorite strikes that proved to be a little bit challenging this week with the modifiers. For the most part, the first few encounters went fairly smooth, but we wiped three times on Tanix each time when he was so close to being dead. Oh my god! No, dude! I'm sorry. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Damn. Alright, Tanix. Your time is over. But in the end, we were finally able to take him down. Hell yes, dude, we got it. Fuck yeah. Took a, took a couple tries, but we got it. Hell yeah. Our reward from the Nightfall was a 391 Monte Carlo, which I immediately equipped and would use for the next hour of running heroic strikes. We blasted our way through the Nexus Mine, the Undying Mine, still no Amago. Sepix perfected, still gotta love that music. and the oh-so-memorable Darkblade. All cool just never disappoints. And finally, we rounded things off with the completion of a daily heroic story mission that happened to be the final mission of the Rise of Iron campaign. After all that work, we were a 389 light level and more than ready to take on the 390 Crota's End raid. I know Crota's End is always memed on for being more like a six-man strike than a raid, but I still love it. The Lamps encounter, while fairly easy, is always fun for me. Now during the original Crota's End days, I don't think anybody ever did the bridge encounter legitimately. In every raid team you were a part of, nobody even knew how to do the actual encounter and we would all just end up cheesing it. But since the update and changes during Age of Triumph, Crota's End has been fixed so the bridge encounter actually needs to be done legitimately, which I won't complain about because even though it is easy, it's a pretty fun encounter that ends with continuous sword spamming on everything, which is just a really good time. We got the gauntlets from the bridge encounter as well as a Shroud of Flies cloak in the secret chest up ahead, both of which were an improvement to our light level. Up next was the Death Singer, and due to an unfortunate accident called my lack of skill, I was dead the entire Death Singer encounter as my team absolutely destroyed her, but I still got the Light of the Abyss fusion rifle for my efforts. We figured we would do the Crota challenge, which meant two separate people would need to be sword bearers, and we did have one wipe, but the next run we got him no problem. All right, here we go. All right. Well, down him. Down him. Down him, down him. Not gonna get greedy here. Three hits is... Don't shoot him. Hit him, hit him. Oh, you First, I think that was too early. Yeah, it's gonna spawn over. Get, get ready, ready to shoot it. it. Shoot it. Shoot it, shoot it. Alright, we got nice. it. And I'm very, very low. Woof! Alright. Right, My Monte Carlo range, dude. Oh. Not quite, Sorry, not quite. Ready? Down him. Oh, not yet. Done. Get him. We got him. Nice. There he is. Ooh, Fuck Justin, yeah, guys. Good job. I got the helmet. Dude, I got a word of Crota. Yeah. Crota dropped a word of Crota legendary and a word of Crota adept that went to the postmaster. And overall, I would say that this raid was quite a success in terms of the loot. 
We were a 391 light level and feeling pretty good, but now it's time for a visit to Zer in the tower and see exactly what he has for us this week. But it turns out that Zer has absolutely nothing that I'm looking for, so this week we're going to pass on a purchase from the Tentacle Face. After turning in a few bounties, we did rank up our Vanguard, and I decided to pull a weapon package. A 391 Badger CCL, which is alright I guess, but I was hoping for something a little bit better. Now as I usually like to do, I wanted to end with a few games of PvP because I quite enjoyed Destiny 1 PvP, so I hopped in with my new Monte Carlo and my trusty green shotgun that has never let me down before, and we went into the control playlist to see what we could do. Uh, one. Oh shit, hello, two. No. Two. Big whiff. Now, where are you at, man? Where are you? Get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Come on. Yeah, you got him. Give me that green. Give me that green. heavy oh shit hello oh shit I'm being chased dude huh. oh dude this thing chugs this is a chunky machine gun No, no, no. Dude, how are we alive? How are we alive? I'm gonna golden gun C. Oh shit, dude! No, 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 get him! Yes! Oh, what the hell? Oh, we still got him. God, Zalo. Oh, we won. Not an amazing game, but I'll take it. Oh, dude, this is the worst sniper in the game. <laughs> this is the worst. Oh. Now, before I end the video, I just wanted to say a huge thanks and a massive shout out to you guys for over 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I'm seriously blown away. I, I never expected this, and I'm honestly very surprised with the amount of support I've gotten on the channel recently. I really never thought I'd see the day where I even hit 1,000 subscribers, so I just really want to thank you all so much for over 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube. You guys have no idea how much it means to hear all the kind words you guys leave in the comments and the messages you send me on Xbox uh, saying you enjoy the content and that you're enjoying playing Destiny 1 again. I really, really love seeing that and it really makes my day. So thank you so much for all the nice comments and for sticking around and being a subscriber. You guys are the reason I'm here and uh, your support means everything. So I do try and read all my comments and interact with you guys in the comments section and it's sometimes hard to keep up with all the comments that you guys leave, but just know that I, I do read them all at the very least. So thank you if you are leaving comments and interacting with the video. 
and it does mean a lot to me. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to making more of these in the future for you guys. I, uh, I'm thinking about actually doing the Galhorn quest in the next episode, and maybe working towards Necrochasm as well. Um, but that's all for now for this episode, and uh, thanks again for everything, guys. You mean a lot to me, so thank you, thank you. Um, uh, I will see you all next time.